Anyway, here we go. Like so many others this year, Jess Johnston has spent hundreds of hours happily staring at her screen. You're basically in charge of your whole own little world, which is so much fun. It's a video game called Animal Crossing and a welcome escape from reality. Especially when the rest of the world is shut down to go be like, ah, yes, I can still go shopping without a mask on in my Animal Crossing world. <laughs> So it came as no surprise to her when researchers at Oxford University announced the results of a study showing time spent on video games may not be as bad for us as we've heard. When it comes to our mental health, Super Mario Odyssey. the study found gaming can provide a lot of enjoyment, which is good for us. Now, before you let your kids play all day, let's just hit the pause button for a second here. My first reaction was I'm surprised. Kimball Richardson is a licensed mental health counselor and says there are some important things to remember. Number one, the study looked at two games, Animal Crossing and Plants vs. Zombies. He says there's a difference between a game where you're doing something positive, like say, helping people or animals. That would be important versus you know, games where you're having to kill people, frankly. And another thing. Addiction to video games is a real thing. So you don't want to be so attached to it that it keeps you from other things or you, you get agitated or upset when you have to stop it. So here I am. Oh, not that way. For Jess Johnston, it's not unlike a lot of things in life. I mean, I think anything can be bad for you if you overdo it. And in a challenging year like no other, a virtual escape may just be good for us all.